to the start is, that's the one, a 1987 Alpine Skidoo owned by Russ Boucher of Fort Kent. All right, taking the start of the Antique Snowmobile Parade. Go for it, Russ. Don't let me hear you say lights taking you nowhere. Okay. Coming in is a 1973 Snowjet. It's a Starjet 338, also owned by Russ Bushy. Come on through, Russ. 1973 Snowjet. All right. Love it. You. All right. I remember those. All right. Do we have another antique snowmobile machine coming in? Okay, I need the card. All right, folks, I hope you're having fun. Plenty of food at the Irving Tent, plenty of beverages available. Here we have a 1975 Yamaha SM292, also owned by Russ Bucci, a 75 Yamaha. 75 Yamaha. All right. Going the distance. Those are the ones where if you had your sweater stuck up in the, the, the uh, intakes, it would come to a screeching halt, not knowing why. Okay, a 1977 Polaris Colt 250 SS, and we cannot remember the SS. We cannot forget the SS. Russ Bucci again, 1977 Polaris. All right, way to go. Nathan Levesque is the owner of a 1993 Yamaha Venture GT, also a Fort Kent. And he, I believe, won a trophy, most original sled. 1993 Yamaha Venture GT, Nathan Levesque. This is great, I like this bird, thank you very much. This, this is wonderful. All right, coming into the start, a 1992 Yamaha Venture XL 1992 owned by the Levesque boys Levesque boys fantastic come on through yes 92 Yamaha Venture XL all right I, uh, if you're downwind from some of these machines you might get a little dizzy okay just, just fair warning <laughs> Coming in is a 1966 Skidoo Olympic, owned by André Sirois, and also the driver as well. Skidoo Olympic, 1966. Oh man, that's in great shape. Look at that. That is beautiful. Well restored. All right. Skidoo has been uh, a long-standing, well-respected company in the snowmobile industry. And here is a 1973 Skidoo Bombardier owned by Norman St. Ange from Edmondson, New Brunswick. Norman St. Ange, 1973 Skidoo Bombardier. All right. How are you? All right, getting ready to join us here is a 1983 Yamaha V-Max owned by Gerald Cesar of Frenchville. A 1983 Yamaha V-Max. All right, come on through, Gerald Cesar. All right. Wonderful, look at that. All shiny and... Oh my goodness, this is gonna be fun. This is a rare machine. Also by Gerald St. John, a 1975 Suzuki Fury. Suzuki Fury from Frenchville, Maine. Gerald St. John. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I don't think they made that many of those. Still sounds great though. The owner, Jim Layton from Limestone, is here today with a 1970 Skidoo. 1970, Jim Layton. Oh, and a 
one with a tag sled to go with it. I love it. That's great. I love it. That brings back memories. Yeah. All right. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is has received the trophy as being the oldest sled. The oldest sled. Owned by Timmy Garrett. A 1962 Polaris K95C. I think I... Oh my goodness. Does this bring back memories? Ladies and gentlemen, Timmy Garrett and his 1962 Polaris. Man! That is so wonderful. That is so great. A Polaris K95C. Tearing up Main Street. Huh? Isn't that wonderful? Goodness. Owned by Bob Kiefer of Caribou. The driver's name is Lydia. We are about to see a 1964 Skidoo. A 10-horse Skidoo. This also brings back great memories. Look at that, 1964. 1964, oh, is that in the wrong order? Oh, okay, hey, we're still good. They're bombardiers, right? They last just as long. Okay, is this the one that I'm gonna, 1963 Bombardier, owned by Bush Thibodeau. Bush, good to see you, Bush. Bombardier 1963 from Sinclair. Hey, Bobby. Good deal. Well done. <laughs> he still remembers how to ride it, too. Goodness. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a rare, rare machine. It's a Polaris Mountaineer. It's a 1963. 1963 Polaris Mountaineer owned by Rob Kiefer. Oh, man. This is beautiful this is beautiful look at that oh my goodness 1963 how many of you folks were here in 1963 raise your hand 1963 or oh oh my goodness there's not many of us left is there oh boy oh boy all right 1977 Skidoo RV owned by Scott Guyo Scott show us your stuff 1977 Skidoo RV go for it buddy look at this this is wonderful how many of those are still around huh I don't know how many of you have had a chance to visit the Bombardier Museum up in Val uh, Val Valcourt, Quebec. Hey, Gary. Uh, wonderful experience. Wonderful experience. A 1993 Mach 1 Skidoo owned by Bob Ouellette, and the driver is Diane Boutat, and she is ready to let her rip. 1993 Mach 1 Bob Ouellette driven by Diane Boutat. Amazing. Always something exciting here at the Can-Am. Here we have a machine owned by Gaetan Boutot from saint jean la lande Monsieur Gaetan Boutot with a 1991 Skidoo Mac 1. Skidoo Mac 1. Gaetan Boutot. All right. All right. Okay. Très beau. Is he ready to go or what? Yeah, that's fantastic. That's a lot of fun. This is a rare piece. A remember the moto skis, people. I remember the moto skis. In fact, wasn't twins? Wasn't it the twins that used to sell moto ski years ago? Right, Don? Okay, 1976 moto ski Sonic, owned by Stephen Conti. Uh, he's also the driver. He's from Gloucester, Massachusetts. All right. Stephen Conti. Yeah, he's still got plenty in there. Yes, sir. And this, this machine uh, won the trophy of having been the furthest traveled. I wonder, Bert, if he got here on the trails or if he uh, on a trailer or 
All right. Well, 1976 moto ski. Oh my goodness. On oh, that, this is fabulous. From Washburn, Maine, owned by Chris Langill, a 1965 Super Mountaineer coming through. Look at that, folks. An original. Look at the skis on that. All right, 1965. Oh, man. That's wonderful. Thank you. And that's a twin track. You know, I remember, those of you who remember as old as I am, before the ski toe was built, we used to go up to what was called Scout Valley, and we had machines like that locally. They used to haul the skiers up to the top of the hill. Good memories. Carol Bell, my good friend Carol Bell. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. She's riding her 1994 Skidoo Grand Touring. Carol Bell from Presque Isle. <laughs> Love you. All right. Goodness gracious, this is fun. Dave Pelletier is a proud owner of a 1969 Skidoo 399. Dave Pelletier, come on through, buddy. 1969, good job. The countless hours that are spent restoring these machines. It's so nice, it is so great. Bon, from New Canada, Nouveau Canada. Glenn Desjardins, the owner of a 1969 Skidoo Olympic 12-3. Glenn Desjardins, our good friend, Glenn. All right, well done. <laughs> it's even got the helmet to go for it, go with it. <laughs> That's wonderful. 69 Skidoo Olympic. How are we doing, Bert? All right. Jameson Robert Roy is now riding a 2019 Polaris Evo. Polaris Evo. Brand new 2019. Look at that. Huh? Wow. Pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. And Logan Pelletier from Frenchville is riding a 1991 Phaser 2. Phaser 2 from Frenchville. Logan Pelletier. Look at that. That's a beautiful looking machine. Looks like uh, something that you'd see on Star Wars. You know how the front, you know? The, wow. Okay, we got a skidoo coming in. I don't quite know which one it is until now. It is Aiden Plord riding a 1988 Skidoo Safari. Aiden Plord, 1988 Skidoo Safari. All right, Aiden. There we go. Fantastic. Aiden's from Fort Kent. I don't know how old, but looks like a young guy. Okay, Paul Guimont is the proud owner of a 1980 Arctic Cat Kitty Cat, and Simon Guimont is riding. Oh my goodness, look at this. Hey, Juliana, where are you? My granddaughter is here. She, she's got to see this. All right, a 1980 Arctic Cat Kitty Cat. Look at her go. Hey, cheer her on. Look at that. God, isn't that cute, ladies and gentlemen? Wow, that is so nice. Riley is riding a small green machine and I can't tell what it is, but I see the smile and that's all that matters. Look at this, all right, getting through. All right, well done. An Arctic cat. Oh, Arctic cat. Oh, we got a new, another machine coming. Oh, my old buddy Russ. The organizer for the Antique Snowmobile Parade. Ladies and gentlemen, cheer this guy on, Mr. Russ Bushy, 
on a 1979 Polaris TX440. Russ Bushy, thank you very, very much for organizing this antique snowmobile parade. It's always great to see you here with these people. Well, I hope you had half as much fun as we did up here. Thank you all very, very much. We love you. Have a great rest of the weekend here in Fort Kent. Lots to do. Have a great rest of the day and enjoy yourselves. Thank you, Adam Willette, for an outstanding job. Bert Levesque, thank you, Top End, and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.